It's never too late to follow your dreams. Former Newton resident Shelley Dowsey at 92 years old and 11 others all over the age of 72 decided it was time to follow their dreams despite the challenges of age and COVID-19. Katie Mulcairin has their story. It's not every day that you see 12 women ages 72 to 100 pursuing their dreams all at the same time. And during a worldwide pandemic, Shirley Sowski is a 92-year-old resident at Hebrew Senior Life's Jack Satter House. She had an unfilled desire to become bat mitzvah. Shirley suffered two strokes just two weeks ago, ending up in the ICU. She wakes up feeling grateful and ready to accomplish even more. I told my younger daughter to get all the family together. And here I am. I'm like a cat. <laughs> I have nine lives. Shirley is a former Newton resident where she lived for 50 years. My family came to the city of Newton in the 1800s. And my grandfather and a few men started a show. And it's still there. And it's a historical visiting place. They open it a couple of times a year, and it's called the Adams Street Show. She served on the PTO at her children's schools and worked at Boston College for many years. My children were brought up in Newton. I worked in the city of Newton, and my husband had his practice in Newton Center. So my life really, for many, many years, revolved around the city of Newton. My husband was a student at Penn. Uh, he was a graduate of Harvard, then Penn, and then he went into the service and we lived in Washington, D.C., where he was stationed at Andrews Air Force Base. Shirley and her husband were lucky to have three children and six grandchildren. I love them all so much. I'm very proud of all of them. Shirley turned to Rabbi Lior Niveau, who then formed a bat mitzvah class for residents of this independent senior living community. We started um, meeting and learning together, and then when COVID came around, um, we had to make a decision if we're going to continue studying together or not. And we decided one of the passages that we learned from the Mishnah, um, from the ancient text, says, if not now, when? And the minute we read that, it was clear that this is, this is when we're going to do it. It's going to be now. For all of us, for me too, it really kept us going through this whole time because we had something to focus on. It wasn't COVID. Right. Um, so it was, uh, it, it lined up being um, more of a blessing than we even anticipated in the beginning. It was very exciting for that group, but I think it also the excitement was sort of um, contagious throughout the building because even people who weren't part of that group knew what was going on, watched it, the ceremony on their TVs. The class, which started in December, had to be conducted via telephone once the COVID-19 quarantine hit. On August 21st, Shirley and 11 other residents fulfilled their dreams through a very moving and socially distant ceremony. We gave our opinions. We asked questions. It was like actually being in a classroom. And the most important thing was, we heard each other's voices. And so at the end of each class, we didn't feel lonely. We felt as though we had been together. And that's the way it's been all during COVID. Rabbi has taught her classes. And then all of us, the ones that decided to be bat mitzvah, we spoke all the time on, on Zoom. And then finally, Hebrew Senior Life and Jack Satterhout put in a TV station. As part of their preparation, the women studied a portion of the Mishnah, which is a book of Jewish law, that addresses the theme, if not now, when? 
This theme is fitting since it relates to accomplishing your dreams regardless of your age. These women know that it's never too late to follow their dreams, and Shirley greets each day with gratefulness and eagerness to learn something new. We felt like we were all together, and uh, we managed to do so many things during this, this dreadful time, this frightening time, even though we lost friends even though many of us were not well, we managed to get through to this day by keeping active, by learning, by being uh, strong and caring about one another and to just keep going. And that's the way I felt when I got up this morning. I feel as though there's something for me to look forward to every single day since I arrived at the Jack Sandman. Rabbi grabbed the ball. She found 11 other women and uh, we were the adorable dozen. <laughs> we were bat mitzvah August 21st. It was a beautiful day. Reporting from Jack Satterhouse, I'm Katie Mulcairn with Newton News.